I can't believe that worked. Mm. You know you're over 30 when you get excited about a rice cooker. <laughs> but seriously, I'm so excited about this rice cooker. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've had a Zoji Rushi rice cooker. It makes the most perfect rice every time. And I think what's special about it is that it can cook rice different ways. So if you're having jasmine rice, you can have nice fluffy kernels. Or if you're doing sushi rice, you can have these big short grain rice that is a bit sticky so that it can be easily molded together. Mmm, wow. It's just the perfect texture. This new rice cooker has a self standing rice paddle. Like, how has no one come up with this before? <laughs> Literally, genius. And of course, the best part about any Zoji Rushi rice cooker is that it plays a song when you start it and also plays a song when it's done. So it just, it's the little things that make me happy, like hearing the song that your rice is ready. Of course, the rice cooker means nothing if you don't wash your rice. I usually like to wash it at least six times until the water is no longer cloudy. This removes the starch so that you're not gonna have mushy, sticky, gummy rice. Make sure that you save that water. Don't just pour it into the sink. Save that water in a pitcher and use it to water your plants because it's full of nutrients. I also added a little bit of kombu to the rice. It just has a little bit of seaweed flavor into the rice, especially since we're making sushi. We are going to mix in some rice vinegar and sugar to turn it into sushi rice and make sure that it's nice and well dispersed. Just look at those beautiful, big, glossy grains of rice. I had this wild idea to use a silicone ice cube tray. My goal is to cut all of this fish and then just kind of be able to place the rice inside and flip it over so that it makes a beautiful mosaic of sushi. I can't believe that worked. I mean, it did take a few tries. You know, I, you really have to make sure the rice is compacted and uh, use a little bit of jiggling and pushing it out, but it did work. Each piece is nice and intact. So this was actually inspired by the box sushi that they do in Vancouver. Such a perfect texture. Okay, now let's try it. I'm so excited for this. That rice texture is freaking perfect. It's not falling apart also, which I think is a good sign of construction. Like a little dip. Tourist soy sauce. Mm. The texture of the rice is so important for sushi. If you want more ideas on things you can make with your sushi rice, check out my chirashi bowl recipe in my cookbook, Indulging Eats at Home. I have a link in the description below for you to order a copy, which also has the ratios to make your perfect sushi rice. But yeah, let's do this. Uh... I'm honestly so impressed with the quality of this rice. And this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and see you next time. Mm -hmm.